August, June 27th. We'll close now by circling back to Cotto versus Keel. The big subplot going in was weight, as Cotto intelligently used his enormous bargaining power to force Keel into a catch weight, 157 pounds, instead of the middle weight limit of 160. The effect was visible at the weigh-in, where the Aussie veteran looked haggard and gaunt. It was visible in the ring, where the comically larger Keel's few landed punches were nothing more than a light drizzle for Cotto. No raincoat, no umbrella necessary. We've got no problem with Cotto doing what was once effectively done to him by Manny Pacquiao and his current trainer, Freddie Roach. We understand there's a long and accepted history for catchweights, and over time, they've helped superstars like Henry Armstrong and Bernard Hopkins and Manny Pacquiao to make their marks on history. But there comes a time when you have to consider your relationship to the audience. Boxing, with its 68 recognized titles in 17 different weight classes, its absurd semantic ploys like interim champion and super champion, its revolutionary globalism, is confusing enough already for the consumer. More than enough. If governing bodies want to strike a small blow for sanity, this one is available. No catchweights in real championship fights. Draw a line and promise fans that if a fighter is going to defend the middleweight championship, he will be willing to fight an opponent who weighs 160 on the scale, and so on for all the divisions except heavyweight. That's not about Miguel Cotto. He's earned everything he's got. It's about building better bridges to fans for a sport that yearns to boost its audience share. Thanks for being with us on this edition of TFG.